Hey there, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Relaxed Bell. All right, this we are still on the whole goal setting uh, strategies for this week. So we're actually going to be talking now. What types of goals are there actually for you to uh, to to use? Because there's not just a set a goal, set it and forget it type of goal. Because one, well, those goals don't work. So we're going to be talking about that this week on Relaxed Bell. <laughs> folks uh, <laughs> so we're talking goals and different types of goals that they're actually out there um, we know uh, the big one it's smart and the setting up smart goals and that's actually an acronym that we'll get into here in a moment but um, why set up goals in the first place well um, goals actually are um, a means for you to focus in uh, get a laser a laser fine focus on a particular issue on your life say you are not happy with where you live well you can actually set a goal to get out of that place in you know and it doesn't have to be within a month or it doesn't have to be within a year you can set a five-year goal you can set a 10-year goal I have a five-year goal right now that at the end of five years I will have be either walking or have walked the uh, Camino de Santiago uh, that goes from Lords. Uh, I'm wanting to take the long route too, from Lords, France, across the Alps, all the way across Spain to uh, 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 the Santiago de Compostela, which um, is a big pilgrimage that a lot of people take. Um, and you hear pilgrimage, a lot of people actually think that it is about um, Catholicism, and it's not. Granted, it is the uh, the way of Saint. I think Saint Peter is uh, Santiago. Um, I believe it's uh, uh, Saint Peter, um, and where he wound up, uh, he did a, a journey to the farthest west, re most furthest westest, mostest section of of, of Spain, um, and. Uh, so, but anyhow, it's, you know, there, because what I would want to do is I would like to just be able to say that I walked that whole, that whole length, um, and have the, uh, the Santiago, uh, Camino, uh, passport and all that and everything that goes along with the, the whole experience of walking the Camino. So that's a five-year goal. And that's not even, that's, that's not what I'm talking about even today, because, you can when it comes to setting goals and it doesn't matter like i said it doesn't matter whether it's 10 years down the road or one month down the road if you set a goal you now know where you need to go all right if i need to get from place a to place b i've got a map and this map shows me where i'm or tells me how i'm going to get from place a to place b so having the goal and having the uh the drive and that there is a bit of drive that you have to have in your whole uh in yourself to be able to actually accomplish a goal because if you are you know just saying i'm gonna lose 20 pounds or i'm gonna lose some weight even more general well okay what is that what is a what is weight how much weight are you going to lose the you want to just stating something for the sake of stating something all is going to guarantee that you're going to fail there's that famous saying that somebody smarter than me ever said that uh failure to plan is planning to fail you have to made a decision to not do whatever it is you want you claim you want to do just by not making not being as specific so there's there's three types well there's actually more than three there's a couple other types of, of goals that you can actually have um, that you can actually take so but I wanted to focus in on on the three on three big ones the first one is the one everybody knows of and that's the smart goals uh, if you're not familiar with it uh, smart goals is uh, is actually an acronym and actually it's been changed from smart to there's another version that's called the smarter goals and that's actually even uh, a, a better means of 
uh, reaching your goals because there's uh, something in it, uh, something a little extra in it for you. So anyhow, SMART stands for uh, specific. So like I said, you want to lose 20 pounds? Well, that's specific. If you want to lose weight, a little more specific uh, line would be, I want to lose 20 pounds. Um, then if you uh, want to be measurable. So again, you've got 20 pounds. You can see that you have, you know that you have uh, 19 pounds to go when the next time you weigh yourself and you see that you've lost one pound. You're measuring your progress. Um, it's attainable. So. 20 pounds is an attainable goal. You can do that in a year. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be, uh, it's not uh, outrageously hard though either. Now, if you were to say, I am going to lose, uh, I am going to get down to my ideal weight by the end of the year and you are about 600 pounds, it's possible. It is attainable, but there's a lot of work that most people aren't gonna do, and that makes it really kind of unattainable. You have to know yourself. Are you really gonna to wanna to work that hard? Are you gonna to wanna to go through the, the difficulty of having liposuction and having all that fat, you know, having someone with a, with a, um, I always thought of them as the, uh, the mortician uh, uh, vacuum. So going in there and, and sucking all that fat and then going through the pain of, ha of dealing with all that fat literally being ripped out of your, uh, out of your, in between your muscles and your skin. And then you have all the fact that your, your skin's now just hanging there. So you've got a lot of work. And so then you end up having to have surgery to get the, to get the loose skin taken care of. And there's a lot that goes into, you know, if you're ditched 600 pounds um, and get down to your ideal weight of 180. It is possible, but uh, it's not going to be attainable, especially if you go off and you say, I want to do it within six months. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So you want to make sure that your goal is attainable. So you have sp uh, smart, measurable, attainable, timely. So you want to make sure uh, the difference between a dream and a, go and, uh, a, a goal is a, a deadline. If you want to have your goal uh, actually come about, you want to have a dream happen, you're gonna actually have to do something called set a, give it a timeline. I am going to buy uh, a good example. Uh, by December 31st, uh, 1159, I am going to have lost 20 pounds. Okay, there you go. You have got very specific time. Again, there's all that specificity. Uh, so you have your exact weight, you have the exact line, and that's a timeline, that's that boundary. You've got a defined boundary as to where you're going to go. But a lot better prepared on making sure that you hit that line. So you have timely, S-M-A, oh, forgot the R. S-M-A, R is relevant. So if you are, if you've not ever, say, you've not ever had a business and you, you're, I am gonna have a business that makes $30 million by the end of next year. Well, not really relevant as to what your pro, what your, uh, what your, uh, your, what you're want, trying to attain. Your, your, not class structure. What, uh, your mindset for how money is has to do. There's a lot of stuff that ha goes between you making twenty million dollars and you being a fifty thousand dollar a year person. There's a lot of mindset changes and shifts that have to happen between A and B. And so trying to make that radical of shift can be really, really tough. So and it's really, if you're, it's not really having a business when uh, may not actually be as relevant to your, uh, to what your problem is as it may be that you need to save money. So if your, uh, your, your relevancy uh, to the problem makes uh, makes a huge difference and i've always struggled with what relevant actually is because everybody stri strays from relevancy and that's why i'm struggling right now to try to explain it so but anyhow so you have your your uh specific your measurable attainable relevant and timely so now we've covered all five of them out of order there was actually two others 
there is an evaluation. So from time to time, about once a month or so, you want to stop and sit down and go, hey, how am I doing on my goal? How's this goal doing? Am I, am I on track to achieve my goal? If so, great, all right. Or if not, well, I need to really start stepping up, uh, need to double my effort because whatever it is I did those first two months ain't working. So I wanna, so I wanna be able to, uh, to change that. Um, and so you gives you a chance to be able to adjust your, your strategy so that you're able to achieve whatever that goal happens to be. If uh, you thought you'd be able to lose 20 pounds and still eat a bag of chips every day, maybe it's time to cut down and you've evaluated, you're not losing any weight yet, so you change it to half a bag or you just dump chips out of the, out of the equation altogether and see what, which one gives you more a better performance. Um, and then the last one for the SMART-ER goal is the R, and that is when you reach your goal, give yourself a reward. So you want to be able to uh, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, timely, evaluate and reward. So there you go, you got the, the smarter goal set. Another way to actually achieve some uh, goal is with a sprint system. Now this is well known with uh, John Lee Dumas. If uh, you're familiar with him, uh, Entrepreneur on Fire, he actually did, has a set of, uh, of, uh, of journals so um, that you can actually go through and um, break your goal up. So you have this goal. So you've got a big, a big goal of, um, let's see here, I'm gonna travel to all 50 states. All right, so how would you do that? Well, you've got to be able to achieve. Uh, all right, so yet John Lee Dumas, and he's got a Freedom Journal. And the Freedom Journal basically is, breaks the uh, year down into uh, quarters. So you have three months, three months, three months, and three months. And each of those three months are broken down into, you've got your month, 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 and then the weeks of that. And so you actually get very uh, fine tuning with your with your uh, with your goal settings and goal progress, so you can actually sit down and go, all right, if I am going to travel to all 50 states, then this year, I means uh, all right. So if you're wanting to travel to 50 states uh, in a uh, in a year, that means you're going to have to hit every three months. You're going to have to visit about 12 to 13 states. You're, there's a couple there, a couple in there that you're going to have to hit 13 states, and a couple that you're going to have to do 12 states. Um, and so from there, you can actually break that down. So you've got, uh, 12, uh, for the 12 states, uh, you've got three, uh, you've got three months. So you, that comes down to uh, being four month, uh, a state per month for each week. Um, and it gives you a, uh, a couple of weeks in there that you would actually be able to, uh, to kind of slough. So like if you, you got to have a little extra preparation time to be able to make it to Hawaii, then, you know, there you go. You got two weeks to be able to make it to Hawaii or a week extra to get to Hawaii and a week extra to get to Alaska, however you wanted to do it. But you can actually be able to hit all those 50 states within a, within a, uh, an attainable and measurable time. Um, you're just going to get very fine details on that. So how you can actually, uh, decide, all right, well, we're going to, uh, this is how I'm going to get to, you know, Texas, and this is how I'm going to get to Kansas and Nebraska and, and uh, South Dakota and North Dakota, and you're just going to work your way up, and then from there you go over. You can figure out exactly how you're going to do that whole goal within a year because you've broken everything down into manageable one-week sprints. So you might try, you might check that out, then try the sprint style of goal setting. Last one is by Chris Brogan. And uh, he does a thing where uh, his goal is not so much as a goal setting as he is just going for a change of mindset and a way of he think, uh, way he's thinking. So he does uh, three words. And his three words d uh, vary from year to year to year to year. And you can actually just look up Chris Brogan, my three words, and you can see that he goes back to like, almost 10 years, if I'm thinking right. But either way, setting up uh, the uh, the three words are 
each word is very symbolic to what you're wanting to change. For me, I've got uh, my three words uh, for 2019 are actually going to be uh, optimize, help, mindset. And so what it is, how that works out is optimizing. I want to optimize my life for success, but I also want to optimize. I also need to optimize my, uh, my online presence so that I can actually generate success. There's, there's a lot of optimization that I have to do SEO and, and, and search engine optimization and, and social media optimization and things along those lines. YouTube optimization is another one. So there's a lot of optimizing in there that I need to take care of. And so that's one reason why I have optimize as my first word. The next one is help. I want to help more people get what they want. Um, Zig Ziglar often talks, has the famous saying of you, uh, you can get everything in life you want if you help enough people get what they want. So I want to help people enough to where, so, and help enough of them so that I can get what I want, which is my own business. I want to be able to uh, do more of these videos and just do it on the spry like, uh, like it is on this beautiful Sunday, as opposed to trying to, this Sunday being the only time I've got to be able to get these videos in. So I'm doing like five or six of them at a time. So that's why you're gonna see a whole bunch of me in this sweatshirt because, well, I've got to get it done one way or another. Um, and I don't feel comfortable changing shirts in front of a whole bunch of kids. I don't want to scare them and give them nightmares and have to cost their parents, you know, therapy uh, bills for years to come. So, but I am, <laughs> so anyhow, I'm trying, I'm already starting on the help. So, but yeah, that's what I want to help people to be able to get, um, want to help people so that, and also be able to help, uh, I need the ability, start working on the mindset and the ability to actually ask for help. There are many times where I'm just bullheading it through there. I'm going to get this figured out one way or another, when it would probably do me a whole lot more, uh, be a lot more efficient and a lot more helpful if I was to actually stop and go, Hey dude, how, how do you do this? I, I'm not, you not comprehending what what this problem is how do you figure this and get the knowledge and actually ask and build that knowledge I used to have no problem asking questions and now it's next to impossible for me to ask questions so we're gonna that's something I need to work on and then the last one is mindset I need to change my mindset I've noticed that I run into a lot of mindsets mindset indicators uh, that you've hit a, a mindset uh, a problem with your mindset is things when somebody says something you go what uh-uh uh, and you start getting a little you know a little little bullish about what's been said you start talking about how um something's it's not right it's something's not uh, not working the way that it needs to um or uh someone makes a statement and all of a sudden you're about you want to fly off the hook because or off the, off the handle because of what somebody said and it's gone it goes against what uh what you think well, that's why. Why are they? Why are you reacting in such a, a, a. In such a, a manner. It's not like they said that they are going to come by and round you up and, and take you to a ditch and shoot you and just dump you in there. They actually may have said something that. Might help you, if you can, stop. And examine why, what, what caused that, uh, caused that visceral reaction. So that's why I want to, uh, to change my mindset, and that's why that last one is mindset. And also, I want to help people to change their mindsets on the on what they're capable of doing. So, anyhow, there you go. Uh, the three different types of goals. A little bit longer of a talk, uh, much obviously I do that I get around to talking quite a bit so but anyhow uh, if you have any comments or questions click down below uh, put them in, down in the comment section I'll answer them read all of them um, also if you would if you're new here go ahead and click the subscribe button and if you really are liking these then go ahead and hit that bell button and uh, you'll be notified as to whenever I put up a new video which I'm trying to get one out about once a week um, and eventually I may get around to where I can do more. So who knows? I might even be able to start making them a little more interesting than just me standing here being a dancing monkey. So anyhow, folks, y'all take care. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you a bit later.
JAKARTA